Going on people's KC from www.kc-sands.com Today's video I want to show you how to use a gate to create a stutter effect on whatever instrument you decide to choose. So first of all what you want to do is create a little sequence Yeah, got your little sequence that might be a bit off because I didn't have a click on doesn't matter we can sort it out so you've got your four bar loop and then on that synth you want to put gate so we get up the noise gate stop plugging and then we want to create another uh, the Klopfgeist so we go to utility bring up Klopfgeist don't know if that's how it's pronounced but that's how I pronounce it and then you want to send the Klopfgeist to a new bus so choose a bus, I'm gonna choose bus 20. Whatever bus you choose, make sure that the output is set to no output. So when you when you press it, there's no sound. Yeah? And then you wanna sidechain your gate to bus 20 or whatever whatever bus that you've chosen. And then hit play. You won't hear no sound from your synth. But every time you press a button now, it'll create sound. So if you move your threshold, set your threshold, set your attack and your release to be nice and short. So on your clock guys, we're gonna call this trigger. On that trigger channel, all you need to do is paste in your stutter like the different stutter effect that you want the synth to do so as you can see there i've got i think it's, it's yeah 16th notes And then we can just copy that over to the next bar and to the next bar. So you'll have a little sequence. So you can create any sequence you want by just dropping notes in onto your uh, into your MIDI player. Sorry, into your what's it called again? Arrangement window. Yeah, so when you've got a little jump pattern going, simple straightforward choose the synth sound choose your vocals create your clockgeist and route it to a new bus make sure that the bus is has no output and then create your different starter synths starter midi sorry make sure you got your different starter midi play around with it make sure it sounds decent for the track that you're or the beat that you're making and then side chain it to your gate up there and then you just move the threshold around set the threshold to where it sounds nice and stuttery I hope that video has helped. It's a nice and short one. If you if you're not too sure about anything, leave a comment and I'll try to explain it a little bit better than that. If you, if you couldn't understand it, and um, I appreciate you watching. Thanks for your time. If you haven't checked out my other videos from before, please make sure you go and do that. If you like this video, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. 
appreciate you watching. Thanks for your time. Peace.